So let's see what happens in our model of in our diagram or consumption function, consumption curve when there is a change in the marginal propensity to consume. Let's say the function is 200 plus 0.8 disposable income. Given that information, we plot the vertical intercept, 200. It's upward sloping, and the slope is 1.08. Now, let's assume this marginal propensity to consume increases to 0 0.9. That means households will now consume a larger proportion of the increase in income than before. On your diagram, what happens is the vertical intercept stays the same. It's still 200. But the slope now changes. And it has a steeper slope to indicate that people now consume a higher proportion of their income. This means then, if you compare the two, if you have 100 change here, there's an increase of 100 in disposable income. For this function, your output increases, or your consumption spending increases with 80. While if you look at the marginal propensity of 0 0.9, it will have an increase of 90. This increase in the marginal propensity to consume also means that the marginal propensity to save has decreased. So households are now consuming more and they are saving less. And this is all reflected in a change in the slope of the consumption function.